We'd like to start off with a song that, that's a real special song, and it has a lot to do really with what Pastor was talking about this morning. It's taken from Ephesians 6, and it talks about the shield of faith, keeping that shield of faith up in front of you, because the world would tell you that some of the things that we believe are foolishness, but, uh, but I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it's the power of God and the salvation, isn't it? So keep that shield of faith up. <laughs> Sometimes I'm battle weary. I forget to use my sheet. The arrows pierce my armor and I stumble in the feet. fiery darts of the wicked one and he is real but if you do get zinged you know who you can call on for help right when I get in trouble fight and pull the right bell you know I can call Jesus anytime anytime when I get discouraged he will lead me on well you know Always on the line, on the line, I know the 
the King Almighty. And Jesus is his name. Well, you know I can call Jesus anytime, anytime. I can call Jesus anytime, anytime. Particular one? Either or all. Either. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. What's on the pole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're having communion. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. So don't kick it off. Yeah, that's yeah. that'll be the next trip. I spilled a cup of coffee in the car on the way down on the van. <laughs> all over me too. <laughs> What the pastor said reminded me of this next song we're going to sing. You mentioned in your prayer uh, when you invited people to come to Christ that if you go to hell, there's no breaking out of that place. And when we stand before the Lord and we don't have his blood covering our sins, there's not going to be any place to run, no place to run, no place to hide. What an awful, terrible thought it is, really. You must run to him for refuge from that. I live my life an honest man I go to church whenever I can I talk to the preacher and I shake his hand But in the judgment I will stand Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide What if the blood was not applied? Knowing a Savior was crucified You need to remember that when you're talking with folks. Uh, matter of fact, it's always interesting when, when you go into a church where you, you'd like to think everybody that walks in the door is a born-again Christian, and yet the pastor offers a, an invitation. That's a good thing because it, oftentimes we do spend a lot of time in church, and uh, you spend time with people that you think, well, gee, they're, they're at church. Every Sunday they must be believers. And uh, not always the case, you know, until you've had a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and asked him to come into your heart and ask for forgiveness from your sins, um, you're going to have to stand in the judgment with no place to run, no place to hide. So, so if you have accepted him, be very much at peace in your heart and grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But if you haven't actually repented of your sins, make sure that you do that. Because there will be no place to run, no place to hide. Ooh. 
I should share with you something that Sarah said on the way over today, but it can't go any further than these doors, okay? You'll know why. We're on TV. There's a video. <laughs> <laughs> We're sending it to Washington, D.C. <laughs> yeah. Well, she said on the way over, she was telling Melissa. This is our friend Melissa from Chicago. It's a friend of Sarah's from way, way back. And she's been visiting for the last two weeks. And she was telling Sarah about what it would be like when we got here. And Sarah said, this, uh, this church that we're going to this morning is my most favorite place. And I always have to. You're our favorite, too. <laughs> it's kind of a treat, actually, because um, I leave next Sunday. I'm going to go to college away. So I'm leaving next Sunday. And um, we have a concert next Sunday. It's at a festival. But this is our last church concert. So it's a real treat to be able to be here for the last Thank one. You. So. Yeah. We expect you next year, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to run no place to hide we went down to uh, Nashville and last of January 1st of February Sarah and Janine were in Oklahoma and we'd been up here without them for two months and so we went, met there in Nashville and we stayed at a nice big hotel and it was a bluegrass festival all bluegrass people in the whole hotel it was just unbelievable if you like bluegrass if you didn't you would just think that you wanted to die <laughs> In all the rooms, in all the halls, you know, the lobby was packed full. And early Sunday morning, we were there, and uh, uh, Sarah, Janine had her little suite, and we were filling, Sarah and I were in a room, and, and Sarah woke us up hollering, get out of bed, there's a fire. And we were on the fourth floor, and uh, 
So I thought, oh yeah, sure, there's a fire, you know. And so I opened the door, which is, you're not supposed to do that. The hall was full of smoke. And so we ran, didn't look too good to run down that hall. We didn't know where the smoke was coming from. So we went back in and we woke Janine up. Janine, Janine said, I said, Janine, get up and get dressed now. <laughs> so she got up and got dressed and we peeked out the door again and there's still smoke. And so we go out on a balcony and we look down and it's four, four stories down. Wow. Talk about no place to run. But there was a um, carport two stories down. So we thought, well, we're going to have to jump down on that thing. And uh, just then somebody came over the loudspeaker and said, it's a mistake, it's not really a fire. And we thought, well, what is the smoke then? Yeah, right. And it was somebody had sprayed the fire extinguisher and it looked like smoke. It was just all past our room. So we were sure, <laughs> so I'm thankful. <laughs> Well, have we done this song here before? I don't know. Yeah. This is a song about We that. hope you liked it. Yeah. <laughs> but again, anyway. A song about Judith Iscariot. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tell him about it. Yes, you can apply the text next year. That's right. That's right. song about Judith who saw all the, firsthand, all the miracles and all the proof anyone could ever need. But he's still in the end. Um, yeah, betrayed the Lord, so. Okay.
they always have a hard time with tuning when it gets hot and muggy and all that sort of thing. So that's Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. This is <laughs> yeah. Great minds think alike, right? <laughs> She was down in Oklahoma this past winter, and she was at the Bluegrass Festival, and, and they all do that down there. You know, they, they were having picking parties everywhere, and she said they was a couple, middle-aged couple, I guess, you know, and he was playing, and she was playing. She wasn't saying anything, just standing there playing, you know. <laughs> and uh, he took his turn on his lick, and then I, they sang some more, and then he says to the lady, he said, get after it, Maisel. <laughs> so now when she does a lick, we say, get after it, Maisel. <laughs> Maisel, she could play. She could Maisel. Play. Wow. <laughs> uh, one of the uh, verses that was read this morning talked about uh, Mount Zion. And uh, Mount Zion is a very special place, of course, for all the believers. And this song was written by a, a fellow named... <laughs> Whitley, Keith Whitley, there we go, there he was, I almost forgot his name, good songwriter who's, who passed on early, and um, it's t it talks about camping on Mount Zion. Um, I think sometimes the things, as Pastor was talking about this morning, this, the things of this world get very tiring, and the older you get, the more tiring they get. Uh, we used to sing a song we haven't recently about the uh, Far Side Bank, you know, and how lures of this whole old world have ceased to make me want to stay. Watch the way you get the feeling sometime, but this song is a real nice one. Talks about after it's all over for us, we're going to go to camp on Mount Zion. There's a neat picture. <laughs> Open wide 
And when I am past this veil of sorrow, I will camp upon the other side. Someday beyond the reach of mortal kin, someday God only knows just where and when. Someday the storm cloud will be lifted Beyond the shadow of the tomb And with all the bells in heaven ringing And the angels sing home sweet home Ball. She's my age. We grew up together ever since we were really little. Not like not like we're grown up yet, but you know, <laughs> we're still growing up together. But I want to. I mean, I noticed that she's got this dress on, and oh, just coincidentally happens to look just like our dresses. I think she's trying to get in the group. Awesome. Now, I mean, she has a beautiful voice and everything, but she doesn't fit the height requirement at all. So, <laughs> so we're just gonna have to, you know. I mean. If this Janine put on a red dress, you know, she's tall and everything, but I don't know. Um, well, yeah. She is standing up. Body in that 
cold, cold ground. But you don't have to cry for me, don't sing no sad song. Cause nothing can hold me here, I'm headed home. They're walking those streets of gold Singing a round of song Nothing can hold me here I'm headed home Good effort, Maisel! Thank you.